How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Snake Clips. Today's episode is titled Snakes at the Hotel, Snakes at the Casino, and Snakes at the Restaurant. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to mention the name of the casino or the hotel that we stayed in, but uh, Snake Man went on a little vacation here and uh, stopped at one of my favorite pet stores, and I got two new snakes. And um, problem is, I had to take them into a motel, a hotel that we're staying at. Now, uh, we stay at the same motel all the time. And um, today, though, uh, the pet store is nice enough. I didn't ask them to, but they put the two snakes in two separate boxes. They taped them up. So the hotel really didn't realize that I was sneaking in snakes into the room. Um, we've stayed at this hotel many, many times before. We love this hotel. And... Um, the, the manager there has mentioned to us um, because he knows that we do snake shows and stuff like that and uh, a tip too also we go in on business all the time and when we first stayed at this motel we were paying like hundred forty nine dollars a night for a suite um, they find out that the business rate is eighty nine dollars a night and uh, we're always going to this motel when we go there we are always going there on business so we tell them we're coming in on business and we save a ton of money so that's a tip for you guys too if you're traveling you know tell them you're coming in on business get a business rate it's a lot cheaper but needless to say um the guy knows we do snake shows and everything so the one time as we're bringing in uh containers uh, big rubber made containers the ones that are on wheels and stuff he says uh, you know there's a no pet policy here and it's like yep i know and uh, my wife's kind of like getting a little nervous there. And he says, that, that means snakes too. It's like, yeah, I know. And I just keep walking and pulling the containers in um, to the room. And he didn't say anything after that. So we sneak snakes into this hotel all the time. Um, put them in our luggage or whatever. Um, but today we've also, um, my wife likes to go to the casino. So the first day we go to the casino, it was cool because we left the snakes in the hotel room. But the second day we're going into the casino, we actually um, were checking out of the hotel. So I needed to be able to take the snakes with me. And I'm thinking, I can't leave them in the car because it's really, really cold. So what am I going to do? Well, I got an idea. It's like, you know what? I'm going to take the snakes. That's why I'm wearing my coat right now. I'm going to take the snakes and I'm going to put them in the pillowcases. And then I'm going to take the snakes and put them in my pocket and I'm going to check my coat at the casino. So that's what I did. I checked my coat with the snakes in my pocket at the casino and uh, worked out really well. Nobody was the wiser. But at this particular casino though, we've been here before and the one time we went there I had picked up some baby rattlesnakes on the way and again it was cold out and so I couldn't leave them in the car so my wife put these rattlesnakes they were in bags they put the rattlesnakes in her purse and uh she snuck into casino because i told her i said well you know what i says anybody tries to steal your purse man they're going to freak out when they reach their hand in there to check out and see if there's any money then on the way today as we left um we went out to eat and again i can't leave the snakes out in the cold so again i just kept them in my coat pocket we went into the restaurant, we ate there, so I mean, so you know what people, you never know what people got on them. I mean, we had snakes with us in a hotel, we had snakes with us at the casino, we had snakes with us at the restaurant. Um, but now I'm going to show you what snakes we actually picked up. So uh, hold on a second, let me get my coat off, reposition the camera, and I'll show you the new guys. Okay, now let's take out the, the guys. Actually, two new girls. Um, you can see here we had to improvise. This is the, uh, I don't know what they call this thing. It's you attach it to your player's club card when you go to a casino. So we uh, use this to tie up the bags with, which is becoming a little harder to untie here get it out here and uh, we're not going to mention to the hotel what this is we kind of borrowed uh, one of their pillowcases I really wasn't expecting on this trip to really come home with anything but anytime I go to a place that has snakes 
for sale or for adoption or for whatever reason. Um, I, I should know I'm coming home with something. Uh, but I wasn't really prepared. It's like right now I can't get this thing undone. So. Cut it loose. Hopefully, this knife is sharp enough yet. Now, I'll probably end up cutting myself getting this stupid thing apart here. I am terrible at opening up when tying bags like this. Our microwave came. Okay. That's my wife telling me our microwave we ordered came. That was quick. I'm trying to get this unknotted here so we can show you what we got in here. Doesn't seem to be working very well. Somehow I got a figure that neither me or the snake is going to end up getting cut here in a minute. Hopefully neither. There we go, finally. Okay, here's the first one. And like I said, they're both females. This is... Uh, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. It is our Western Hognose. This one, she's very, very friendly. Western hognose are really cool snakes. They're given the name hognose because of their upturned snout here. Um, they technically are rear fang venomous snakes. They're not deadly, but they're not completely harmless. A uh, few people have been bitten by these that I know of. Um, one of them is actually documented on my website. You can go to the venomous picture section and you can see here her, her read her story and and uh, see some pictures of her hand all swollen but pretty much when they bite you they have to chew up on you um, even when they get mad at you they usually will flatten their head out um, they'll hiss a lot they'll strike usually with their mouth closed um, normally like I said they really don't they're not biters per se uh, what these guys also do is they're noted for playing dead they will um, open their mouth up, they'll roll over on their back, they'll hang their tongue out and even cause blood to ooze out of their mouth and they'll stay in that position until they feel that the threat has gone away. It's really funny though when they're on their back if you flip them back over on their stomach and they still feel threatened they'll roll right back over onto their back again. But hognose snakes are really cool. This is a western. Um, they'll they, they like to like destroy their enclosures, they like to take the, the bedding and they like to push it all over the place, they do like to burrow and stuff. They're awesome little snakes and like I said this is a female. Let me just put her away and then I'll get the other one out here. Now the other one is also a female but this one here has a little bit of an attitude problem. I'm just going to cut that right off of there and I'm going to bother to try to untie it. And when I say attitude problem, you'll see here, hopefully she'll do it. You can watch here. Please. See here, she's flattened her head down a little bit. She's not oh, not aggressive where she wants to bite and you see she's jumping around um, she is a little more huffy puffy um, she hasn't opened her mouth yet to me um, but again I'm not really afraid of getting bit you have to pretty much let them chew up on you um, both people I know who got bit by them um, didn't bother to try to take the snake off of their their finger right away they were more worried about taking pictures so they allowed the snake to chew up so they could get those rear fangs in there you can see how she's jumpy but she's not over it's not aggressive she does a lot of bit of hissing here she's not hissing right now though but she does hiss pretty cool snakes these are two of the new ones that we have added to our collection now 
Um, we're going to use these for our shows. I do have the two smaller ones, but they're they're kind of little little babies, um, so I want them to get bigger before I do anything. The other two we have is an albino version of these, and what's called a red hog nose. Um, like I said, these are western hog noses, really cool snakes. I would probably breed them, except they're egg layers, and I don't like dealing with eggs. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a very short one today. Just a little bit about my vacation and uh, how we sneak snakes into different places. Um, if you like what you see, click the like button today, guys. Um, if you want to see more of what we do while we're sneaking around, <laughs> click the uh, subscribe button. And as always, keep it real and uh, have a wonderful day.